Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. I hope everyone is well. It's been seven days, I think. So, it's time for a weekly reading. I don't know, literally, I blinked and a week went by. So, I don't know how the heck that happened. But we're here now, so we're going to throw down some cards for the top and bottom of the deck reading. Uh, for those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. Um, it is Virgo season. Virgo is an earth element, so I'll start with the earth element. I'll go around the wheel. That's just how I roll. And, well, it just, it, I'll be honest, it makes for a faster read and a shorter video, and I take up less of you guys' time, and, yeah. If I went sign by sign, I'd be sitting here for two hours. So, yeah. Anyway, get this going. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on with you guys this week? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The readings are good for seven days. Oh, what's going on? Justice in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Okay. Things are a little out of balance. Someone might be a little needy, a little clingy, having self-worth issues. Could be a Libra that you are either dealing with or disconnecting from, or another Earth sign doesn't necessarily have to be. What happened? Okay, I have a Four of Cups and the Star card. Could be the recent past, could be the distant past. I don't know. I wasn't there. I just read the cards. All I know is it was the past. So... Four of Cups, someone in this scenario was spending a great deal of time concentrating on the coulda, woulda, shouldas of a situation and either ignored what was trying to be handed to them or just missed the cup entirely. The star card, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with or a water sign. It's Four of Cups. Again, take it if it resonates, leave it if it don't. Hmm. Well, star card, it's a card of communication, it's a soulmate connection card, and could have been doing a little bit of a healing process here, perhaps you were healing from something, perhaps you were still he healing from the coulda, woulda, shouldas, and that's why somebody ignored a cup. Okay. Fast forward a little bit. Hermit reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Wow. We went from missing a cup to head in the sand, n disconnecting from friends, not really interacting with anyone. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Earth signs. I'm, I'm a little concerned. You went total hibernation mode for a minute by the looks of things. All right, what's going on this week? Emperor in the reverse, the fool in the reverse. Somebody's vulnerable. Doesn't quite have control of a situation, possibly not trusting their own judgment. Not trusting a situation. Maybe it's because you're a little bit off balance here. Possibly a little bit needy and clingy. Can you see the cards? I mean, I try to set this up so you guys can see. But you know, I have a limited amount of space. I'm working on that, though. Once the kiddo goes back to school, like, like actual face-to-face -face learning school, and he's not home every day... <laughs> I'll have time to clean and things of that nature. So, without having a child running around behind me, redirting it again. Anyway, about this, hmm, let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Earth sign friends, please? I have a chapstick trying to roll. Capricorn, ugh, Capricorn, wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Can you tell I'm a little tired? I'm a little tired. 
Uh, Nine of Pentacles popped out without intention. I sense a little bit of an independent spirit. Perhaps that could be what's coming towards you. Oh, another one flew out. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Could be a fire sign. Could be an earth earth sign. I don't know about that Knight of Wands. He's not very committal. He's all about sowing his wild oats and playing the field and having a good time and... I don't know about that. Could be someone coming in though. All right. I'm not gonna clarify all of these tonight. I, I'm pretty sure I got a handle on what's going on here. I am going to clarify this Emperor in the reverse and the Fool in the reverse. So why is the Emperor reversed here? For what we can expect for the upcoming week. Oh, three cards flew out. What did we get? Hermit in the upright, four of cups in the reverse, four of pentacles. Ah, is that why we're is that why things are a little out of control? Is that why we lost our mojo? Hermit in the upright. It might be time to kind of come out of hermit mode a little bit. I mean, there's healthy self-reflection and introspection, and then there's holding up on the couch, live streaming old movies, eating popcorn, and ignoring your phone. I don't know what level you're at. I, I don't know your story. But, yeah. I think you're going to start going into a mode of a little bit more healthy introspection. Let me throw another one on that. Five of Wands, that's a card of Leo. If that's setting off any alarms. I mean, you know, it's your journey, not mine. Could be a little bit of a combative energy. Somebody might be coming in this week trying to kind of get you out of your shell and you, mm, I sense a little bit of a, I don't want to come out of my shell. Just toned down the combative energy. It's fine. Really, it's going to be okay. But you're going to come to a place where you could possibly stop ignoring And kind of start processing what you've been holding on to. Why is the fool reversed here? Page of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Temperance reversed. Mmm. Yeah. One more on that. I don't want 20. I want one. This 10 of Pentacles is interesting. I'm going to take these two because they showed themselves to me. I'm not going to take that one. I'm going to put that one back. Mm hmm. Not trusting your own judgment. There's a messenger coming in. It's going to be some hostile energy. Ultimately, ultimately, you will deem it beneficial to just kind of disconnect from whatever has been dragging you down and really 
walk away from what's been holding you back, what you're holding on to, what you've been hermitizing about. This week, I finally think you're finally going to process through that and come from a place of vulnerability and not being able to trust your own judgment to really just kind of move away from it. But there's going to be some hostility. because I don't think you're going to do it of your own volition at first. I definitely think someone will come in and kind of drag you out of your shell. So just prepare yourself for that. Sorry, I had to check that. Let's get some advice. King of Pentacles reversed, Four of Swords reversed. Hmm. For those of you who are going through self-worth issues, don't let it get you all restless. There's a second half to that, I just gotta find it. Queen of Wands upright and the Five of Swords in the reverse. I love this. Yes. This week, I definitely think you guys are going to get your mojo back and you're going to come to an understanding and come to an acknowledgement of what pieces you can pick up and what pieces you can't. And sometimes you just have to leave the mess scattered and you have to walk away from it. So it doesn't <clears throat> drag you down. You know what I'm saying? You can't allow it to drag you down. You've come a long way. Page of Wands in the upright, death in the upright. This is amazing. Forward movement and change. And this is, death is, it's a signal for like soul level change. Not like, you know, buying a new pair of jeans or a new pair of shoes or something like that. It's like deep soul level change. And forward movement on the path and change is coming. You have to allow it to come. Because if you don't allow it to come, you're just going to stay in the place where you are. And that, I don't think that place is a very healthy place right now. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Emperor in the reverse. If you allow things to stay stagnant. And if you don't allow for forward movement, things are going to remain out of control and you're going to just kind of stay in that vulnerable little shell forever. And I'm not saying the shell is bad, but when it gets to an unhealthy level, that is when it can become worrisome. Know what I'm saying? Don't, don't allow it to stay at that unhealthy level to where you're not talking to anybody. You're not dealing with anybody because that's worrisome. It really is. So if you're there, be kind to that person who, who may come to you this week and be like, Hey, let's go out for coffee. Let's go hang out somewhere. Like let's go to, go to a marina and watch the boats come in or something of that nature. You know, if the friend tries to get you out of your house. Don't be so combative. Like, ah, no, go take a walk. There's no harm in just going and taking a walk. Okay? Alright. That's what I have for my earth sign friends this week. Okay?
a little strange not sure who needed that but the messages come for those who need them air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius what is in store for my air sign friends this week? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Good for seven days. Fool in the upright, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. I'm sensing some crazy reckless energy right now off of this. Like somebody may have something to prove. Okay. High Priestess, upright. Seven of Pentacles, upright. Deep, powerful soulmate connection, right on. Being led and guided, patiently waiting. Okay. Huh. What happened next? Will of Fortune in the reverse, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it always takes a weird turn, doesn't it? I can get some clarity on that. I'm a little shaky on that. I don't know how I feel about that. This is a cycle failing to come to an end. This is leftover baggage. And I don't see this as coming out of a cage of your own thoughts about it. I see this as trying to ignore what happened. Like meh. Like it didn't even happen. All right, what's coming in for this week before I throw down some clarifiers? The Hermit in the Upright, the Six of Swords in the Upright. Well, introspection and moving on, okay. Packing up the swords, letting yourself be led out of the forest or across the river or whatever. Letting somebody else steer, basically, is what the Six of Swords represents. This is healing. This is healing and forward movement. Finding the inner light on the path. Okay. Right on. This reckless energy may have been what started this scenario for some of you. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I don't normally clarify these, but Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity from my air sign friends? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this upcoming week. I'm not taking 20 cards. The Knight of Swords reverse popped out right away. Nine of Pentacles popped out right away. Definitely something to prove. It's 
some of you may have jumped into something too quickly and fell flat on your face. There's been a cutoff in communication here. Possibly something trying to cling on after the cutoff of communication. Jumping on the cliff, off the cliff, not realizing how short of a fall it really was by the looks of things. Huh. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Thanks. Seven of swords, three of swords. Well, that's ten swords. If you add it up. Lies, deception, heartbreak, downward turn of events. Yeah. Yeah, that's jumping off the cliff, not realizing how short of a fall it is. Okay. Okay. Things not quite adding up, leading to a heartbreak. The King of Pentacles can also represent someone who made themselves out to be something that they're not. Possibly where the lies and deception came in. Hmm. Either you are this person or you're dealing with this person. Take it however it resonates. For some of you, maybe a little bit of both. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? The shadow side and the page of wands. Shadow side upright, page of wands reversed. Why the shadow side? His pentacles reversed. That seed that was planted that never quite took root. He's still bound to it. Probably a lot of toxic energy. Probably has something to do with this person making themselves out to be something they're definitely not. Page of Wands, that's lack of forward movement. Or misread messages trying to come out of your head of it though trying not to give it a second thought but it still lingers I think you still talk about it you still think about it it still bothers you probably why you're doing this healing process and moving on this week I like this why the hermit Five of Swords reversed. One more. Somebody left things in a shambles, didn't they? King of Cups reversed. You're just kind of emotionally spent. Can't quite seem to pick the pieces up. Yeah, that's a hermit moment for sure. Five of cups reversed. Three of wands. Knight of cups reversed. Coming out of a state of sadness. Waiting for that next ship to come in. <laughs> the knight of cups reversed. That, that ship. The ship. We all know what the ship is. All right, well, you need have some healing you need to do first, obviously, because the one you're dealing with it was a soulmate connection, but it wasn't one of those connections that was meant to stay. This was meant to teach you something. Why the six of cups? Oh, sorry. Why is the six of swords here? Queen of Pentacles reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Cups reversed. This is going to be a haul, Air Signs.
moving forward, moving on is the best thing to do. Allowing someone else to steer, possibly, also. Because taking that action avoids the overthinking of why, 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 and jumping into yet another unstable, uneven connection that's clingy and needy where you just can't seem to fill your own cup or the other person's. So let's get some advice. It's definitely time to process and move forward. Three of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. You cannot have the happiness and the dream and the fairy tale ending if you don't have a stable foundation at the beginning of the story. So you need to work on building that stable foundation so you can get all ten full cups. Okay? And remember to fill your cups with positive things this week, not the negative stuff. Hierophant in the reverse, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Don't overthink this. Nope. Don't ever think it. it. Don't feed the connection that's not there. So if you're still talking to this person, honestly, I, I don't think I'd waste your breath. I really don't. No. This was a, this was one of those connections that was meant to teach you something. And you just need to step away and process and introspect and figure out what it was meant to teach you and not, not beat a dead horse. Yeah. Six of Swords in the upright and the Magician in the reversed. This was not meant to manifest. It is time to move on. Definitely time to move on. But don't let... Be careful who you let steer the boat. I'm going to put it that way. Is if you're still talking to this person and they're still able to pull puppet strings, just be very careful. That's the King of Pentacles. I like to see the one in the upright. King of Pentacles in the upright. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Eventually, you need to release this burden and acknowledge yourself for the catch that you are. Because when you see yourself as one hell of a catch, other people will see you as one hell of a catch. And who doesn't want one hell of a catch? You know what I'm saying? But you got to kick off the cement shoes of those connections that just drag you down. And there's nothing worse than a seven of swords, three of swords connection. You know what I'm saying? You got to heal from those, man. Got to walk away from them. Learn the lesson you're supposed to learn. And be, let it be. All right. Air signs. That's what I have for you this week. All right. Water signs are next. What do we have for my water signs this week? That's some crazy transition energy. Mars is going into retrograde in a few days, too. That's... Whew! Yeah. I think Neon and I are going to end up doing a flip sign video all about Mars retrograde sometime this week before it starts. Just because she would like to talk about what we're all going to be in for. Because this only happens like every couple of years so it's not like a mercury retrograde it's not something that happens three or four times a year so we you know it's just constantly cycling no i think this is one that people kind of forget about and overlook anyway water signs cancer pisces scorpio what's going on with you guys let's tuck this up out of the way cancer pisces scorpio Death and the Queen of Wands, that's not too shabby.
Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. Could be some fiery, passionate stuff going on. That's not bad. Could be another fire, or sorry, could be a fire sign you're dealing with. The Queen of Wands uh, represents Leo, I believe. At least she can represent any fire sign, but primarily Leo. It's getting your fire back. That's transitioning. That's metamorphosizing. I like it. All right, what happened? Empress in the upright, seven of pentacles in the reverse. That was the one you wanted. Somebody lost patience, seven of pentacles reversed. Somebody didn't want to wait around for it. Could have been you, could have been them. So either they were the one you wanted or you were the one they wanted, but somebody didn't want to wait around. Next. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody chasing that coin. Concentrating a lot on money. Someone had to make a logical head over heart decision. Oh, we're going to throw some clarifiers on this one. What's going on this week? Eight of Swords in the upright. Four of Swords in the reverse. Somebody going to get all up in their head and get a little bit restless this week. Might have something to do with the one that got away up here that somebody didn't want to wait around for. Maybe they're the one going through this little bit of a change and all of a sudden it's like, aha, uh -huh, well, well. Don't they look different in a different light now? What happened to them? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my water sign, friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the upcoming week. Huh. I know what that's all about. I know what that's all about. That, I mean, we'll clarify. I want to know what this Ten of Pentacles is. Why is Ten of Pentacles here? You want to talk. Knight of Wands. One more. That's a lot of fire sign energy. Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Page of Swords. Magicians in the reverse. Somebody concentrating on work. Somebody's, somebody could have been a player. Somebody possibly was very manipulative, pulling some strings. Hmm, I don't like it. It's hard to say who was who here. Somebody was at work all the time, constantly dealing with work or earthly related matters. It was all about money, money, money. Somebody could have just wanted their freedom with this Knight of Wands. He's very much a free spirit. So you really can't tie him down. I think that's what led to this King of Swords moment, the head over heart decision. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Three of Swords reversed. 
trying to come out of that state of heartbreak and getting all up in their head and why 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 knight of cups reversed why didn't i commit maybe somebody could be coming back for a commitment Taking over resonates. Why is the four of swords reversed here? What's with all this restless energy? Oh boy, how many? It's only four, five. I'll take them. Nine of swords, upright, ten of wands reversed. The fool, king of pentacles, two of cups. Yeah, this all makes perfect sense. Somebody's restless over a connection. Connection that stole their thunder. Somebody's going to be like all bat crap bonkers wanting to get things off their chest. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Why is King of Pentacles reversed here? Three of Pentacles reversed in the lovers. Somebody could be having self-worth issues because of a disconnect. Deep soulmate connection. This was the one you wanted. Or you're the one they wanted. Again, all things can be vice versa. Something has changed in someone and somebody noticed. what I'm seeing. All right, let's get some advice for the water sign, friends. King of Cups upright, Nine of Wands in the upright. Gosh, that's tough advice to give somebody. Keep your guard up, but don't be emotionally closed off. So if they come to you, don't be a total jerk, but be on guard. Eight of Cups reverse, Six of Cups. Wow. This could be somebody you've kicked it with before. Possibly someone you've known from childhood, been dealing with for a long time. Could be a soul connection from a past life, but there may be a return in the midst. And if that happens, don't get all salty. Oh boy. Ace of Pentacles upright and the Ten of Cups. It might be time to bring an old house plant back up off the back deck, bring it back into the house. Cause it might be ready to fill your cups again. Who knows? Who knows? There's a return coming. Get ready. Page of Pentacles, King of Swords. I think the Ice King, the logical head over heart one, Apologies may be in order. Take it for whatever it means to you. If they come back with an apology. Like I said, don't, don't be a jerk. Don't be cold hearted. But be true and honest with your feelings. And it's okay to have feelings in this instance. And you need to respect the other person's. Queen of Wands reversed Ace of Swords. And if it's not there, it's not there. If you're not feeling the connection, be honest about it. Don't, don't be the master manipulator and do to them what they may have done to you. Don't do that. 
It is not time for that. Okay? Don't play their little games. As much as you may want to, don't. Okay? Be nice. Be kind. Wow, that was interesting. I'm wondering what's in store for my fire sign friends now. Everybody else is going to have an interesting week. What about the last quarter of the population? Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's in store for you guys this week? reading these and I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I have to get up early. A wand's reversed flew out. We'll see if it comes back. Nine of wands reversed. Temperance in the upright. Walls tumbling down, maybe? Energy flows improving between improving. Improving between people. Could be another Sagittarius or another fire sign you're dealing with. What happened? The moon and the four of pentacles. There was unknowns. Things were not illuminated. Things were being held onto. Emotions. Somebody was being miserly with their emotions. Possibly having to be miserly with money. Again, if it sets off an alarm bell, run with it. If you so choose. If it's not resonating, walk away from it. Could be a Pisces or an earth sign you're dealing with. You're left in the dark about something. Caused you to hold on to emotions for a while. What happened after that? Six of Cups, King of Cups. Soulmate connection, deep feelings, deep emotions. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. Oh my. Two of Wands in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles in the upright coming up this week. Somebody's having a hard time letting go of that wand of the past and going toward the future. Somebody's stuck at crossroads. Someone might be wondering what, which path will lead to the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool and the gazebo and, you know, all that happy jazz. The house on the hill. The one you've driven by a hundred times with the happy family and that's the dream that you want for yourself. Somebody's stuck. Could have something to do with this or this. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and the table for my buyer sign friends, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. That King of Wands in the reverse that popped out earlier, that could be um, less combative energy, too. Like throwing down weapons, screeching halt to something. We'll see. All right. I don't want to delve too deep. Why is the moon here? King of Cups. Somebody lost feelings. 
They quickly, abruptly, immediately lost feelings. And I don't think anybody knew why. Or either person in the situation knew why. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four reversed, five of cup reversed. Somebody held on to feelings for a while, just tried to avoid sadness, but they didn't trust their own judgment for a while. Or somebody held on to harsh feelings and had a hard time being sad about it because there was a lack of trust in the situation. Take it however it resonates. Huh. All right, six of cups, king of cups. Why is this? Why is six of cups here? Queen of wands reversed. Three of swords reversed. Oh, that's sweet. There may have been an interaction. A mutual, I don't have the feelings I did, but I'm not as heartbroken about this as I was. I still care about you, but one of those. Know what I'm saying? Why is the King of Cups here? Knight of Pentacles. There was an apology. Magician reverse, Knight of Cups reverse, Two of Cups reverse. Yeah. It's, again, with the reiterating apologies were put forth, all of branches were extended, and it didn't work out, it didn't manifest. I care about you, but that's where you were at. Okay, so why the crossroads? You're interacting better. Walls are tumbling down. Why the crossroads? Why is the two of wands reversed here? Nine of wands upright, ten of pentacles reversed. Someone's at a crossroads because no matter how hard they've pushed in the past, it doesn't work out. They don't get their happy ending. One more. No matter how much work they put in, they don't get the return. The Nine of Wands reversed isn't... It, doesn't necessarily mean walls tumbling down. It can also mean throwing in a towel and giving up. Don't you be doing that, fire signs. We don't do that. We don't do that. Fire signs don't give up. Fire signs don't give up for nothing. We don't know the meaning of the phrase. Four of Pentacles reversed. That's the letting go. That's the release. That stuff you couldn't release up here, it's going to be released this week. It's going to happen. One more on that. One more. Or in order to get unstuck from the crossroads, you got to release it. Seven of Pentacles. Some patient. Something you patiently been waiting for. Something. Something. Something's finally going to fruit. You're going to get your fruit. It has something to do with something that happened up here. Hmm. That's interesting. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? That's a lot of fruit, by the way. Six of Cups. 
Aw. Could it be the same six cups? Aw. I like it. Eight of Wands, High Priestess Reverse. Sorry, High Priestess Upright, King of Swords Upright. Communication, speaking truth, connections, soulmate connections. Fire sign, something's happening this week. Someone that you have not interacted with in a while, or the interaction hasn't exactly been positive, I think you can look for positive conversations or interactions this week. I think things are finally going to get smoothed, though there was something that wasn't so smooth. I mean, it was cordial in here somewhere. Train wreck up here. Move to cordial. It's going to move past cordial this week. That's awesome. Let's get your advice. I mean, I don't see, I don't see like returns or getting back together or any of that happy jazz, but I see, I see a connection. I see communication. High Priestess in the reverse, Hangman in the upright. It's time to accept the situation for what it is. And that for whatever reason, the connection just didn't happen. It's time for, I think, both parties involved to accept it. Are you connected? Absolutely. But it's time to not be emotionally hung up on it anymore. Cut yourself down out of the hangman's gallow, if you will. I mean, you're suspended by your feet. I, I don't think your hands are bound. Well, in this particular one, in this partic particular one, you, you have some, like, some, like, vines wrapped around you. I mean, the only thing holding you down is earthly matters at that point. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Wands in the reverse. You're never going to come out of the cold with somebody if you don't open your mouth and talk. That's what I get out of that. Page of Cups reversed, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Sometimes it's okay to swallow your pride. And sometimes it's necessary. That's what I get out of that. A couple more. And we're going to call it a week. Wheel of Fortune and the Upright and the Hermit in the Reverse. You can stick your head in the sand all you want and pretend that whatever happened didn't happen. But sometimes things have to come to an end and chapters have to close for new ones to open. So pretending it didn't happen isn't going to do anybody any good. Get your head out of the sand. Nine of Cups in the upright and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I don't know who this is going to resonate for. This just popped into my head. Sometimes the best thing you can fill someone's cups with is the truth. So, whoever needed that little dose. Okay, fire sign friends, all my friends, have one heck of a week. I'm going to, because in a couple of days here in the United States is what we call Labor Day, and I'm finally coming to the end of what I call my 100 days of hell. I mean my 100 days of summer. So, my busy season and my bread and butter job is almost over. So, yay. I mean, it was a weird summer anyway, but whatever. Oh, time for things to slow down and get back to normal. All right, I love you guys. Be blessed. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good week. I'll see you guys in seven days. Love you a bit. Catch you later.